Hey guys, this is Bear Gaming and welcome back to our channel. Happy Friday everyone! For today's Hero Spotlight, we are going to discuss about Schmidt. So, as usual, over here in the journals button, you can see Schmidt over here. Well, guess we can stop now. Let's check out his skill set. For the passive, it says here Crisis Management. If there is an ally in the back row beside self, decreases damage received on self by 50% at the start of battle. Remove when other back row allies die. 50% chance to counter upon receiving damage if damage reduction effect is active on self. And then there's Free Spirit increases attack, defense, and max HP of heroes from Vagabond by 10%. So, Schmidt is a general of Vagabond Nation. And you can see his passive is quite unique because it says here if there is an ally at the back row, so it decreases the damage received on self. So, hmm. I'm not sure if, well, it doesn't say it stacks, so I guess if there are, are any allies. 50% chance to counter upon receiving damage, so he does counter if damage reduction effect is inactive. So it's like this goes with the first one. If there are allies beside, I mean behind him, so the 50% chance to counter already activates because as you know if there are allies at his back or behind him therefore there is decreased damage received on self by 50 at the start of battle and in this case it goes with the second one if there are damage received reduction in effect therefore he can counter for his first skill gray storm sword Deals 89% life steal damage to all enemies and heals for 30% of the damage dealt. 50% chance to decrease defense of target by 11% for 8 turns. So, his first skill can do life steal for 30% of the damage dealt. It's hmm. nice. For his second skill, Grandmaster Cross deals 525% damage to one enemy and target dissipates upon defeat. Wait, special target dissipates. Dissipates? So the target disappears upon defeat? Hmm. I'm somewhat confused with this. Target dissipates upon defeat. Dissipate means um, it disappears, so the target disappears upon defeat. Oh well, maybe we could see that in his other um, fate core if there is an effect regarding this. So let's check him out further. Here in the hero introduction, this is what he looks like. So he has this small green bird on his head. And he has a very big sword. It's like he's wearing a kilt. So this is the appearance effect. Does romance pay? Absolutely. Super and neat treasure hunter Schmidt. So that's what you can see. If you happen to get him and then the hero introduction over here I mean illustration <laughs> and for the skill preview this is the normal attack he strikes three times and for his first skill I hate working for free <laughs> Brag if you survive. This is an expensive 
So when that hits, the life steal effect will begin, right? Ah, yes. So it happens. So probably he really needs to have a decent amount of effect hit for this to work completely. And for the second skill, this brings back old memories, does it? Just don't hold me back. And we can see how we can see on with him in the skill animation. So for the hero story, it says here. Schmidt is a warrior, of course, he's a male from Vagabond Nation, and he's a fated great hero. Element is light, he's 42 years old, race is human, he's an attack type hero, and his birthday is on October 17. Continental Bounty Hunter, due to the nature of his tough job. He is already well past his average retirement age, but he is still one of the best in the field. When he found Zion near death in a trap, Schmidt sensed Zion's talent and made him his disciple. To Zion, Schmidt is a lifesaver and a teacher who thoroughly instilled all the basics of hunters. But the wound Zion suffered was too great. Schmidt was also not a man who was affectionate affectionate enough to soothe his wounds. Inevitably, Zion grew up to be a hunter who only trusted himself at an early age. In the eyes of Schmid, what Zion needed was a new experiences with more people. When Zion's skill level was on track, Schmid secretly prepared to part ways with his pupil. Money, food, and weapons that even a child could steal. After a while, as expected, Zion set off to the world as Schmidt had hoped for. Since then, Schmidt often confirmed Zion's status through rumors. He thought hearing news about him was enough because he could go find him at will. However, when Schmidt finally reunited with Zion, he was not in the state he had imagined. Feeling responsible for what happened to Zion, Schmidt decided to step in and correct his mistake. So, Schmidt was always there for Zion from the start. Uh, if you happen to do the chapter stories, there's this part wherein it showed a flashback wherein Zion, I mean, uh, yeah, Zion was found by Schmidt when he was just a small kid, and Schmidt really took care of him and even taught him well to become a treasure hunter. So that's Schmidt's backstory. And let's go to the Manage Heroes button. <laughs> Is this all you've got? Okay. Irregular eliminated. <sighs> Clean things up. So, Schmidt has a gold fate core, as you can see, I already equipped it. But the costume is from his red fate core, so I'm just going to equip. Justice is cruel. So this is his gold feet core costume and I just dyed it because the original colors were actually really dark so I dyed somewhere in the middle so that there will be a contrast to the color and you can see over here in his skill set there are additional skills in his passive so if there is an enemy in the back row beside himself decreases damage so that's from the fated grade the counter free spirited and for this gold fake core in particular the additional one is corruption increases own attack by 20% for seven turns upon receiving health regeneration effects stocks up to five times and there's also one here iron command increases attack of all allies equipped with black and white team fate core by 10% which you can see on the right part the three heroes that goes with him under the black and white team fate for there's Kaya, Nemerius, and Kyla, which they will benefit 
uh, with the increases of attack by 10%. So you can see he has this health regeneration effect in his skills. And for the first skill and second skill, it's just the same. So let's check him out. And also for his sword, I also happen to dye it. This is what it looks like. And this is his battle mode stance. For the appearance effect, it's this one. Discipline is the first step toward true liberation. Grand Duke of what's that? <laughs> it seems fast, but whenever you see that appearance appearance effect, it means you got the gold feet conversion. And for the skill preview. That's the normal attack. And then for the first skill. Obey or die. And then his second skill. Okay, so based on his skill animation, it's like he's consumed with evil. But if you happen to check out the core raid stories, uh, I think he he became like that for a reason. He became, he became evil to protect his loved ones. Well, that's what he said. Okay. Liberty without responsibility. It's mere self-indulgence. And Schmidt also has a gold fate for a version, which is this one. A boring job. And actually this has a more darker color, but I just dyed it to gold because I prefer to look it uh, to make him look that way. It seems like um, I don't know. I think I find it really nice to look at something shiny and golden. It's not totally full gold, but you can see there are hints of gold hues over there. And as for his passive, nothing has changed. This is just the same as his fated version. But let's check him out over here. Oh wait. If it's I still want to remain as a human. Red fate or version. Even in I still want to remain as a human. Even in this chaotic world. So you can see the weapon by default, it looks like this. This is not the exclusive equipment, guys. This is just the default weapon for the Red Fate Core version of Schmidt. And there's an appearance effect, which is this one. Code name's Prometheus. Although I uh, so this is the original name. color, it's more darker. Code Prometheus. And then, for the skill preview, this is the normal attack. Ganda ng suit and sexy. Hi, hi Shinichi Shikuro. Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> Currently, for our Hero Spotlight, we are discussing Schmidt. And for his first skill... Codename Prometheus. Engage. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by. Don't worry. This is the second skill. I have a lot of responsibilities.
So, the Red Fate Core version for Schmidt Dorka is actually kind of futuristic or robotic. There's also one for Rienor. And I'm just going to show you. <coughs> sorry, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, I'm just going to show you that one next time when we feature her here in our hero um, spotlight. So, that's the Red Fate Core version for Schmidt. And if you're going I to still ask me which as a human, core is better, of course, in this it's the gold one. So don't forget, if you just want to check the costumes, you can always do it here. But when it comes to Fate Cores, always remember to equip the gold Justice version. Or cool. if it doesn't have the gold uh, version, or let's say for other heroes, not just for Schmidt, you can go with the black. And if you happen to, um, or if you don't have it yet, you can just equip with whatever you have. Probably you have the red fake core first, so it's okay. Because for the passive, it will still uh, take effect for his fated version. If you're going to equip with the red fake core. But since we have him in gold, therefore uh, it will be the gold fate core's passive effect. There's also this special costume wherein you need to buy using real money or crystals. And I'm just going to show it to you. Oh wait. It's over here. Because I haven't bought it yet. Or probably I won't. Because I'm a free to play player. So it's somewhere here and as you can see, most of the orange fate core list over here are grey. Which means I don't have it for Dana because this is free also for Shoah it's also free and this is for Schmidt this is actually his younger version never turn back Schmidt it says here Schmidt from the past after leaving Team Athlon oh Team Athlon does it mean he works for Athlon or he went on an adventure with Athlon before so although his appearance hasn't changed much, he keeps his distance from others even more so than the past. Now he prefers to work alone and avoids getting involved with a team. He has yet to recover from the past incident. So let's take a closer look. So it doesn't have a appearance effect and it doesn't have an exclusive weapon as well. You can just see the default stance and his battle mode stance. And the sword is really nice. There's this red blade. He really looks young here. Even though based from the short story it says he it, it seems he looks the same, but it seems no. He really looks young over here. Skill preview. I think that's the end. Ah from Ano na, yung Awaken Zion, di ba? Oh, hi Master Uller, happy Friday. <laughs> Welcome back and thank you for being here again because I'm pretty sure you're going to have lots of information to add. Kasi medyo nalito ako dun sa second skill niya actually. Papagita ko sa'yo. So, ah, non awaken non awaken one ba? Ano pa kulay ng Awaken? Gold ba yun? Hmm. Well, anyway... This is the this first is more annoying than I thought. skill. Not that I'm giving up on it, though. We got a lot of other things in the game. I'm also a little bit. It's like the swords of the Awakened, even the regular version of the regular version. But what? Let's check it. <laughs> so this is the second skill. Don't budge into groups. It brings back Ayan. bad so, memories for me. Yun yung ano normal view. <laughs> so it looks the same, but there are some effects here that are different from the faded version because I can see some blue lights and stuff, and probably his. Uh, position. Parang it seems like he's flying. So this is the special costume for Schmid. We're just going back to the Manish Heroes button and 
I'm going to check out Zion Sword. He has the Oron stance. I am the king's yeah. guard. From Final Fantasy. You won't yeah. defeat me so easily. Uh, where is Zion? I can't lose. Uh, even if it's not my body. Let's collect some bounty. Oh wait, this is actually the one from the wedding, Fate Core. Where's today's Ah treasure? yes. So this is the one that Schmidt was using. Yung red. So probably he gave this to Zion or wait lang, did Zion actually stole this from Schmidt based on the story? So we'll just put this back. Skull game. I'll fight it. <laughs> diba, parang there's this one thing that actually Zion stole from Justice yeah. is cool. So those are the different fate cores of Schmidt. And this is the exclusive equipment. I happened to get this for free Liberty before when the exclusive equipment was just free to get. You only need to use Cess. It's like whenever you get the hero, there is a um, probability that you're going to get the exclusive equipment as well because you are going to summon it from... It's at the smithy, the blacksmith, which is... I was supposed to say Philo, but this is Maurice. So before, just a little story, before the airship forge, happens to have this option where you can get exclusive equipment of your heroes and you can summon this just like uh, summoning heroes or summoning artifacts you need 700 sets in order for you to mention uh, I mean in order for you to summon I mean <laughs> no parang sabog ako ngayon, ha? but um, if you happen to get the fate core on the spot there will be an increased rate for you to get his or her exclusive equipment so that's how I got it and now everything has to be purchased <laughs> with sex ano yung sinabi nyo? because he's the student of Schmidt ah yes probably he gave it pero there's one thing I kind of remember something wherein he said uh, Zion stole something from Schmidt and I'm, I'm not sure what it was oh wait sino nga yun? <laughs> so Schmidt the world will become more complete with my power. So this is the exclusive equipment. And I happen to buy this also. The original is actually all black. Oh wait, can I? I ah, know. It already shows the one that I'm currently using, which is already dyed. So this is the exclusive equipment. Don't and as for the artifact, currently I'm using Vicious Gilgrius. And it says here increases all critical hit rate by 20%, 50% chance to increase all critical damage by 35% for 5 turns at the start of own turn. So, I'm pretty sure this Relentless Determination series is still better for all attack type heroes, right? No? Kasi, not only it's easy to get, but still, yung counter attack effect is still very useful for them since they are damage dealers. But since I own, uh, yes. Yeah. So, and it's easier to build. Yeah. So, Relentless Determination Series is still good for any attack type DPSs or attack type heroes. But still, you can use the other artifacts. I mean, I'm pretty sure the developers have a purpose for making other artifacts as well. So if you haven't gotten the purple artifact, you can still use any of it. Ah, huh? yes. But Schmidt already have a counter-attack passive, so I think you can explore other artifacts, yes. Because it says here, for his counter attack effect 50% chance to counter upon receiving damage if damage reduction effect is active on self so the damage re damage reduction effect already comes from his uh, from this first passive 
skill which is if there is an ally in the back row besides himself decreases damage received on self by 50% so diba tama ba yung iniisip ko so parang eto pa lang two two lines ng kanyang passive they already work hand in hand and then the corruption increases on attack by 20% for 7 turns so this is where we are going to discuss the gears. So currently, I equip Schmidt with red blood because oh wait. Because for red blood sets, it's actually for peace. Uh, recovers health by 20% of damage dealt upon attacking. So it's like a lifesteal set. So this could work. Based on his skill, for this one, the first skill, deals 89% lifesteal damage to enemies and heals for 30% Oh wait, is this the one? Ah no no no, it's for this one Corruption, sorry It's actually for Corruption, increases on attack by 20% for 7 turns upon receiving health generation effects stack So this could come from the red blood set or this could come from your supporters like healers uh, wherein they could do health regeneration effects like healing over time uh, what was that red blood is good yes no because i think that's the best uh, equipment for schmidt for now because uh, red blood set is kind of unique you cannot get this through the main stats or even the substat because there are no lifesteal lines like you can see here for this particularly uh, for this particular gear piece you can see the four substats over here critical hit rate attack attack speed effect hit and you cannot see lifesteal in any of the gears so I will not say that you should be wearing breaker set or destruction set for him because of that particularly um, lifesteal effect but still you can use this one hit or critical right in order for you to either increase your effect hit and probably you'd, you'd like to increase his critical hit rate further because over here there's one There's one line over here says deals 89% life steal. So I think this is also part of the effect hit, right? Because this is considered a status effect. So in order for this to uh, this 89% to take place, I think he needs to have a decent amount of effect hit. So that the 89% life steal damage to all enemies and heals for 30% of the damage dealt will happen. And based here for corruption increases on attack by 20% for seven turns and this stacks up to five times so five times 20 is 100% upon receiving health regeneration effects that's where red blood set comes in effect and of course along with your support or healers for the healing regeneration effect for this one, it says he recovers health by 20% of damage dealt upon attacking. So whenever he attacks, he recovers 20% of damage dealt. So I'm guessing this also works for the skills, not just the uh, basic attack, right? Damage, so probably any damage would do. I just want to make it clear. For my stats, it's this one. This is not much. And since I'm not using Schmidt really, uh, this is not part of my three main teams. Uh, what was that? Yes, it works with skills. So guys, as confirmed by Master Uller, the red blood set effect, it works for not only for the regular attacks but also for skills as well. My critical hit rate is very low. It's at 40 percent so i really need to change probably i'm going to change this one critical damage oh no i think this is already okay i could probably change the uh, the, the gears with the substats that doesn't have any uh, like for this one 
I can look for a specific accessory that has critical hit rate lines. HP, effect resist, defense, HP. Hmm. I guess since Schmidt is not a frontliner, it doesn't have. Uh, it doesn't need it to be. Have, I mean, you don't have to have gears that has HP, defense, and effect resist lines, right? I'm just thinking. Maybe he doesn't need it. So I could replace this with something that has more on the damage side. We should change the accessory to attack. This one, instead of attack hit, I should place this with attack. Or attack hit is good. I mean attack hit. <laughs> Talagang sabog ako ngayon, no? <laughs> Effect hit. Sixty percent. So since attack percent is better because you don't really use you don't really use me for debuffing, right? And this effect, um, oh yes, this lifesteal effect only works for him, right? This is like his personal uh, passive, so it only works for him. The lifesteal effect, so we don't need effect hit and since also the lifesteal effect already triggers with 89% I think you only need a little more in order for that to take effect right because currently I have like 132% of effect hit and I think that's too much Tama naman no? yes it's only for him and it's not getting affected with effect hit ah yes we don't need effect hit on him the second skill. The second skill. Hey, I have a question regarding this one. It says special target dissipates upon defeat. Ah, the debuff. Okay, it's clear now. So the effect hit will trigger for debuffs or status effect. And as for the first skill over here, the only debuff is the 50% chance to decrease the defense of target for 11%. Ah, now I get it. So for damage or for other lines like those tag with special, effect hit will not take place. So it's only for debuff. Hmm, I learned something new today. But for this one, do you know what this means? Target dissipates upon defeat because dissipate means disappears so the target disappears upon defeat isn't that too obvious i mean yeah it happens this dissipates means they will not resurrect ah so they disappear completely and not get resurrected for those um supporters who have resurrect effect like luna or probably hono like for Luna buffs. Ah, okay. Because this is my first time reading this kind of skill. Target dissipates upon defeat. And the artifact to resurrect tanks. Ah, okay. So this is actually really nice. And quite unique. Because I think this is my first time encountering a hero that has this kind of um, skill. Because for others, I've already encountered... I forgot who he is or who she is, but there's this skill wherein the blank effect dissipates upon defeating an enemy. So that's more clearer compared to this one, target dissipates. Because for that other character, it's like it's saying this certain buff that happens dissipates when he or she defeats an enemy. Huh? I think Athlon. It's unique. There's another one who has a dissipate skill. Athlon? Okay. Let's check him out. Although we are discussing Schmidt in particular. I just want to check Athlon. I'm really curious. Ah, uh, sino ba yun? Meron yung other hero dito talaga. Pero, it doesn't say target dissipates. But instead, yung certain buff na 
na-activate sa kanya dissipates upon uh, triggering that certain skill. Wait, saan si Athlon? Oh, this one. Ah, I'll finally get some sleep today. Oh, the skills. Mm -hmm. Ah, this one special dissipates upon defeating an enemy. Pero for this one, dissipates upon defeating an enemy. Ang alin? The special one, which is deals 75% extra damage if there are two or less allies in the back row. I think. So, it's kind of different din, no? Kasi pa iba, -iba rin eh. I for forgot the other one. Exos Heroes Wording. <laughs> yes, it's kind of confusing, really. Kasi diba, it's like for Athlon, this certain special skill dissipates upon defeating an enemy. Kasi based dun sa special niya, it's like it only works for two enemies left. Wait, let me check. I am the king's guard. You won't defeat me it's so easily. Not... Was it Dorka? This was expected. Or maybe battery. Easy opponent. Or was it Bernadette? What are you doing? Our next schedule is waiting. Speaking of Bernadette, I think Ver Bernadette is really OP because she has a lot of skill, I mean, effects on her skills. Si do nga bayud. Our triumph! Will Master be proud of me? It seems that I cannot find it. So probably magikita natin yung pag siya nang dinidiscuss natin. <laughs> Let's collect some bounty. Si Bernadette at si ano, Zion, it's the type advantage. Yan yung unique sa kanila. Hmm, probably Kyla. I will gladly go to hell to help the weak and the good. This also has health regeneration effects. So anyway, since we are discussing about me, I'm just going to look for that powers. character who has this another type of skill that dissipates upon using because for this one target dissipates so it's like it's clear the target dissipates so based on what you told me earlier this refers to resurrecting skills like what luna has based on the buff or probably honok is this applicable to honok or karin karin has resurrection also diba the special one uses 50% of own health to revive all dead. Shoa, where is Shoa? She also has ah yes, also. Kasong she needs a lot of mana in order for her to resurrect. That's why I don't like to use her. Because for my second account, I'm using the Vagabond team. So I'm supposed to use Shoa as the support or healer, but it takes forever for her mana to regenerate. And I don't know where he is or her she is. Saan na siya? Anyway, she's somewhere there. I can't find her. <laughs> Angulo. <laughs> so anyway, we really recommend for you to use red blood set this one and you can use critical set i should replace this one because currently i'm using sniper set and i just learned something today from master ruler and he says effect hit only works for debuff skills or skills that has debuff like for those uh, status effect So since his skill over here, for the lifesteal one, it doesn't say anything about debuff, 
Instead, it says here damage, right? Curious din ako sa mga tags kasi di ba, may special, may buff, may debuff. Ito damage. So I don't know what this means kasi for others, parang siya lang rin merong damage or <laughs> bigla ako nalito. Pero hindi naman kaya pa. <laughs> second one, the counter works with the damage reduction so probably he can go with knights or tanks that has damage reduction effect for this to trigger as well aside from the support so yeah again it's best if you're going to use red blood set and also critical set on him and I think that will be it because we already discussed his profile the background story and Another thank you to Master Uller for being here because I'm kind of confused with his skills. <laughs> and also we discuss about the faith cores, artifacts, accessory equipment, and the gears. So don't forget guys, red blood set and critical set works best for Schmidt. I think that would be all. Tama ba? Did I miss anything? Parang wala na. And also pala, we've been discussing generals for a few days already. So don't forget, you need a lot of copies for your generals because general has this signature force. I really forgot to mention or if ever I mentioned this, it's when we discuss about Raquel. So you can see over here, Raquel, Battery, Chinai, Garf, Shufraken, Dorka, Schmidt, and also Kerry. These are generals who has the signature force and in order for you to finish this or to complete this, you need their copies. So for a particular hero, you need about 20 copies for you to finish their signature force and additional 5 more for you to transcend them. Because whenever you transcend your heroes, particularly your generals, uh, let's say you did the first transcendence, so you can only complete the first level. In, in order for you to do the second level, you need to transcend him again or her to transcendence number 2. So, in order for you to finish this, you need your general to be transcended uh, 5 times or plus 5. And that's the maximum. So... We discussed about battery as well. She has the signature force. And then yesterday, it's Dorka. And for today, is Schmidt. So currently, since I'm not using him, I'm not yet updated with the signature force. And also, there are three unique generals here in the game wherein they have signature links. And these are Prithioff, Luna, and Rhaenor. So you need these three heroes. Um, if you, I mean... It's the other way around. You need the signature force heroes over here in order for this to take effect because they are the ones that's going to be linked to your ano ba, main uh, signature force. Because for this one, I happen to link this with Raquel. Ah. Over here. So Prithyov is linked to my Raquel, therefore in order for me to complete this, I think what I did was just transcend my Pritio five times and everything is already filled up when you do that. So it's really easy. And they could actually share something like the uh, this one. Grants buff to heroes from Fedas. This is from the Lenombe. Tama ba? Ah, yes. Kasi di ba? They are linked to Lenombe or whichever nation you'd like to link. So for me personally. And they could share the stats that was increased from Lenombe to Fedas. But currently, I'm not using the Fedas nation as well. So I was thinking maybe I should because I already linked them to Lenombe. So I'm sure they are going to be strong and it's easier for me to build them. For future, ano yun? 
I am the king's guard. For future plans, because me, currently seriously. I'm building this Brune's Nation and I already only need one more copy of Dorka for me to finish her signature force and then I will go to the next. So depending on the main nation signature force sir, the link nation will get the same care of their signature force. Yes. Kasi nga, they are linked. Yun. Yan yung tamang explanation. But it's reliant on what the transcend level of your link hero. Link general. Yeah. So again guys, it's uh, Master Uller said, so depending on the main nation signature force tier, the linked nation will get the same tier of the signature force. Yeah. So it's best if you're going to finish the signature force first, no? Then link. Para completo agad. And you also need the character of the signature link to transcend to 5 in order for them to get the same level, di ba? Yung level 5. So if your main nation is not always maxed. But the link nation general will just touch us on the You can only get up to level 3 only, right? Mm. The link nation will only get the tier 3 of the signature force. Yep, yep. So, yeah. So that's how you do signature link. So, j that's just a little input because it seems when we discuss about Schmidt, it was just too Justice short. So we just cool. added a little information for you guys. And good thing Master Uller is here to guide us. <laughs> so that will be all guys for today. We discuss about Schmidt, um, his background, the artifacts, and also the most important part is the gears. So please do not forget to subscribe to our Twitch channel and also for Master Uller's Twitch channel. I will just link it here in my youtube page in the comment section in order for you to check it out because he also streams other games uh, pre preferably genshin impact right gaganda nga every time nanonood ako parang i'm just amazed and i just wonder why i can't do that siguro hindi talaga siya para sa akin pero i really love watching other people stream or play genshin impact kasi tawang ko maybe it's the skill effects that i'm really into so Okay, so please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well where you can see other Exos Heroes content and other games as well. And if you have any suggestion, just do drop a comment and I will really respond to it as soon as I can. This is Bear Gaming. Have a nice day everyone. Also, thank you Master Ruler. Have a nice day as well. <laughs>